My name is Audrey Odom John. I'm Associate Professor of Pediatrics and Molecular Microbiology here at WashU. We're interested in what does the malaria parasite make and why does it need to make those things. We have a number of different research projects looking particularly at um, metabolic pathways in the parasite that are uh, specific to the parasite and not present in humans. But there's been enormous international investment in malaria control and as a result the number of diagnostic tests have gone up by 70%. These tests have some major flaws. So one of them is the only way you can diagnose malaria still involves a blood test. So you have to get blood from every kid you're gonna diagnose. So literally the tests don't work in some areas. Up to one in every four tests will be negative even when the child actually has malaria. We need tests that are fast that don't require blood, that don't require a trained person, and ideally don't depend on things that the parasite can stop making. We have uh, developed a technology that allows us to diagnose malaria just using breath. So we can actually collect breath from children with malaria and children without malaria who also have fever, and we can diagnose who has malaria with pretty high accuracy just based on compounds that are present in their breath. We're currently working with the CDC and with some other investigators in Sub-Saharan Africa to validate our findings and additional populations. I think there are a lot of different paths to get to a physical device that could be used in the field.